Hi everyone, welcome back to WDoge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Today we are going to talk about another uh, structure that is called do while. But before we go, uh, I think I would like to tell you something that's interesting, especially if you tried so far to write more than one uh, name. So using the exercise from the, the previous class, we have here username. And if I type, for example, William Swanee, uh, we are going to see the following here. Can you see that we have here the, the password and then access denied? So far, we have been working with only one uh, word, and that's fine for the next. But if you want to read an entire line, we need to do something different. If you want to read something that, that, uh, that has a space in between, you want to read the full line, what should you do? You should change here from next to next line. So basically, that's the difference that you need to know. If you are going to read a text that has a space in between, uh, for example, now if I type William Swanee, you're going to see that we can still use the the password. So just a, a small uh, advice for you guys. If you want to write a full line, just make sure that you use next line. It works if you only have one word as well. So for now on, we can use uh, next line for all of them. Okay, so uh, we are going to talk about the do while. So out insert, uh, not here, but uh, if you press arrow, it will remove the three. So we are going to just to press out insert and then Java class, and let's call do while zero one. So basically, do while PSVM press tab is exactly the same as the while. The difference is that the do while will make sure that at least one execution will happen. So let's create here boolean uh, condition equals to false. If I have this while condition salt inside while, I hope that at this point you know that this will not be executed because this is false. But the do while and the syntax is almost the same. The difference is that you first write do, open the curly braces, and then you have the while condition right here. And then you add semicolon. So basically, this is the syntax. And here I'm going to say inside do while. The difference, as you can see, is that we are going to first execute something, and then we do have a condition that's going to check. So this is going to guarantee that at least one time the execution will happen. Now, with the while, if the condition is false by default, this is going to be completely skipped. So let's see, Control Shift F10. And as you can see, we have inside the while. So there are very few use cases in my life that I had to use the while. Most of the time, uh, while actually solved the, the problem. So basically, this is it, the, the, the while is the same as the while, the difference is that the syntax is a little bit different, and then um, inside the do while, you have, the, it doesn't matter if it's the condition true or false, it will be executed at least once, the statement between the do and the while. So in the next uh, video, let's do a quick exercise about do while, and uh, then we move on. So see you in the next video, bye bye.